Hey guys, Ken Ross here and I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking at their essential expenses. And today, once again today, I'm going to actually interrupt what I was planning on doing, which is actually talking a little bit about AT&T and some of the things that have happened to me. But instead, I have to shift back to my favorite subject, which is Verizon Wireless. Now, I don't know if you have been paying attention to your inbox lately, but they sent out an email on Sunday at 10 a.m. Probably a good time for most business owners to not be open to explain that they are adjusting the economic adjustment charge. So let's get into it. Okay, so it says here, Dear Verizon customer, effective January 11th, 2023, the monthly economic adjustment charge. Now, if you've been paying attention to my channel, I've talked about this charge already. I introduced it when I got the email last time, which was also on a weekend, I believe it was at the same time, 10 o'clock on a Sunday, they talked about adding this charge to everyone's account. And now they're going to adjust that charge even more. So let's continue on. The economic adjustment charge for smartphones and data devices will increase from $2.20 to $2.98 per line. The charge for basic phone and tablet devices will remain at 98 cents. Our number one priority is to provide exceptional service to your business and consistently deliver the quality and reliability that you expect from Verizon Wireless. Now, here's the problem I have with this statement. Nothing really here has changed. What in the economic climate has changed that is making you up the charge now, which was $2.20, which is something that's very unprecedented in the sense that I don't see other carriers doing this. And I, I, I had said at the beginning, I thought other carriers would start providing this charge or adding this charge to people's accounts if it's something they could leverage. But Verizon seems to be the one leading the way and they haven't wavered on it. And they're not telling us what they're doing with this money. So keep that in mind. Let's read on. Fully invested in your success, we work every day to maintain competitive prices, often by absorbing increases that we incur. The current economic conditions impacting business worldwide continue to mount, and despite our best efforts to mitigate further an impact, we intend to offset a portion of these costs by implementing an economic adjustment charge. Now, if you went back and you, you checked out my last e video on this, this particular paragraph, this particular um, information is exactly the same as the information that was provided before. They didn't change any of the verbiage. They haven't expounded on that. They didn't say we're going to continue to include uh, these charges going forward or we look forward to getting rid of these charges in the near future once this, this, or this happens. It's very concerning, right, for me. And as a Verizon Wireless customer, I want further explanation. I want to understand what it is that you're doing to give me more success. Let's continue on. Last, it says, thank you for trusting in us and choosing Verizon Business as your partner. We remain committed to delivering outstanding network performance, service excellence, and value your business. Sincerely, the Verizon, your Verizon team. This is shocking to me. I, I already couldn't believe that they added the charge, but then to double down and add more, to this economic adjustment charge, it's really showing that businesses are kind of put in this place where we are brought to the slaughter here so that they can continue to provide quality service. What we haven't gotten and what we don't know is why. What is, what is this money going towards? What is actually causing their service to be impacted? When the first economic adjustment charge came out, I had to evaluate my service. I had to evaluate which lines I had and where they were at, and I did some analysis, and I actually removed one of the lines from Verizon Wireless. And now I'm to the point where if you're gonna to continue to increase this charge and you have this avenue to just send out an email and increase everyone's bill, then I should probably seek to find other options. I should go and find another replacement for Verizon Wireless that's actually more economical and the service is, is uh, just as good if not better because other vendors right now aren't 
adjusting their charges. They're not including this adjustment charge. They're not increasing it for that matter either. For most people that are in this situation who have seen these charges, they don't know what to do. And I think really what it would require is for you to actually call Verizon Wireless. If you have a Verizon Wireless business rep, explain to them, hey, I've been getting these emails. You're sending these emails at very different times, you know, during my business hours where I don't actually uh, receive them in a timely manner during business hours when I'm doing things. And that's concerning to me. It's like you're trying to hide something. I want to understand what it is you're doing to increase my service and see what they say. If you were to ask me to speculate, Verizon is losing customers. And the only way they can continue to maintain a good lead on 5G and some of the other initiatives they have is to ask the current customer base to pay more money so that they continue to invest in those areas rather than investing in their customers by providing them better service, you know, by giving them more towers that uh, in their area or even um, going to relax some of the uh, caps or limitations on some of those things. I don't see Verizon coming out and making those claims. I see them coming out and copying and pasting the message that they said before and increasing our, our charges so that they can have an avenue to adjusting for these losses that they're, uh, that they're seeing. So with that, that's what I have for today. Uh, please reach out to me if you'd love to have a conversation about the economic adjustment charge. I find this very fascinating, um, and ultimately it's one of the reasons why I continue to be a Verizon customer, but I should probably just find some good friends who can't leave Verizon and get these charges on a monthly basis and, and, and put their hands up and say, I don't understand. I don't know why they continue to do this, but we're not getting much information, and, and we're a customer of them. So uh, with that, yes, please put your, uh, your comments down in the comments section below. What do you think of this charge? And what do you think if, let's say you don't have Verizon and you have someone else, that AT&T or T-Mobile or anyone else, if they started providing this charge, what would, what would you do right? in that instance? I know what I'm going to be doing as a result of this. So with that, um, stay tuned to this channel. I have a lot of things to unpack here. I'm going to talk about a lot of different things when it comes to 5G and, and internet and where telecommunications is going, but I find this very interesting <laughs> and uh, would love to hear what your thoughts are and uh, we, can, we can go forward and have a dialogue there. So with that, please share this video with others. Let other people know, hey, this charge is, is coming down if you own Ver uh, Verizon business lines. And Follow me on various social medias. I have all my links in the uh, description there below. And check out my website. I'm KenRoss.com. And until I see you next time, see you around.